this is a great question because a lot of people struggle with this, especially if you're a solopreneur or a small business uh, kind of by yourself. Like um, the, a lot of, you know, people struggle with custom photography. So is that really a requirement for a good design? Yeah, that's a really good question. And I kind of sat with this too when I saw it on the agenda. You're welcome, Lisa. <laughs> Pat on the back. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, um, I don't really want to write an official rule around it because, again, I feel like when we box ourselves in too much creatively, then we can actually sacrifice the overall design or or our overall approach to design. But I will tell you that I've seen both custom photography and stock photos work well, but given the chance, I will always choose custom photography if I have the availability to use right. it and for three different reasons. I have three reasons. Do you want them? Yeah, give them to us. All of them, yeah. Cool. So I think number one, it separates us from the crowd, right? There's not that risk that everybody in your niche is using the exact same photo, which happens. So that's number one. I also feel like uh, going back to the psychology of an image, I or I feel like especially if it's a product and you have custom photography there, I feel like it levels up your credibility. I just right. feel like it looks so much more professional. So it's worth it. Even food writers, food bloggers, you know, if they're using a stock photo of a recipe, or you can tell that it was made in their kitchen, which one am I gonna click on? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with something that's custom. That's just natural for me. Um, the other thing is, is that I really believe that it keeps the algorithm happy. Like we just talked about the fact that within certain niches, we can see the same, especially bloggers use the same photo again and again and again. And if we're getting tired of it and we don't feel like it looks fresh, I often ask myself, does the algorithm view it as fresh anymore? You know, yeah, those point. are questions to ask. Um, so you avoid that with custom photography. And then the last piece is that I really feel that the best pins I have ever seen in my life started at the photo shoot level because mm -hmm. it gives you more creative freedom when you go to edit. Like, let's say you want this minimalist approach. Well, when you're shooting, you're going to back it up and shoot with more white space, right? Um, but if you're not doing that, and if you don't have that luxury later on, well, then now you're, you're forced into using text overlays. So I, I feel like it gives so much more creative freedom and it's awesome if you have it, but I would not say that they're going to fail if you don't have it. 